actually turned my stomach. Five extremely arrogant and disrespectful punks. Your fucking bread stinks. You fucking old piece of shit. And these five extremely arrogant and disrespectful punks ordered at a mental health clinic. Hey guys, News Now California, out in the community of West Valley. I'm at the West Valley Mental Health and Health Center. I'm out here today with Um No Thanks, San Joaquin Valley Transparency, SLO County Observer, and Tulare County Cop Watch. These five extremely arrogant and disrespectful punks caused the mental patient to have a panic attack. Please help me now! Please help me now! Please! I want you to all get ready to be severely pissed off. And there's nothing you can do about it! Get, give me your name and badge number! Get back! Stop that music! I'm in a public place! I can feel whatever I can see! Photography is not a crime! Photography is not a crime! Photography, photography, photography is not a crime! Here are some excerpts uh, from part one. Is that screaming, is that policy or is that law? It's policy. These are mental health patients waiting for their appointment. So Fred watches this YouTube and discovers that his next door neighbor is waiting to see a shrink. Could any of this be respectful or possibly is it illegal? Uh, First Amendment rights are not unlimited, and there are instances where recording could violate the law. We won't get into the Supreme Court decisions on public and non-public form, but spoiler alert, a mental health clinic is a non-public forum. I still have to be screened. And if it's not law, it's only policy. Yeah, if it's, not, if it's only policy, it's not law. So. Well, it's about safety. Yeah. It's, it's about well, safety. It's, Monks now become bold and aggressive, uh, pointing cameras directly at patients. What is HIPAA? HIPAA stands for the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996. This act aims to limit access to protected health information. Auditors make an irrational argument that it's the facility's responsibility to protect patients' confidential information. And you know what? They're correct. And how the facility does that is to prevent cameras on site. You can't deny people services in here again. We, we don't have to adhere to policy. With our tax dollars, we pay you guys to do a job, not to overstep the boundaries and violate people's rights. That's not what we pay you guys for. You have to be screened before you come in. Don't you know that that's a violation of people's Fourth Amendment rights? You can't deny people, you can't deny people service to come in here and then to, to, to demand to be screened and search people's purses, which I just witnessed twice. That's a violation of the Fourth Amendment right. You have to be screened before you come in. You said that's policy. policy. That's yeah, your, you said that's, that's policy. policy and we said that's not the law. Go educate yourself now. So let us educate ourselves. The Health and Human Service Office of Civil Rights, the ORC, has issued guidelines and guidance to healthcare providers to remind them that the HIPAA privacy rule does not allow the media or film crews to access healthcare facilities unless written authorization has been obtained from the patients concerned in advance. And all auditors claim to be the press, but if you read this OCR thing at the bottom, uh, they made it clear with past enforcement that they find the Boston Medical Center at Brigham Young at Women's Hospital $909,000 after it was discovered they had allowed some film crews to access their facilities without first obtaining authorization from patients. 
I would respectfully ask you. Well, respectfully to deny your request now. Not to leave. Well, respectfully deny your request. But well, you're starting to create a disturbance. Their feelings, sir. My rights are not subjected to anyone's feelings in America. You see how wrong again you are again? Again you're wrong, sir. Oh, for two, sir. Oh, for two, sir. You are a traitor to America when you behave this way. It makes you sovereign. And you can't, you cannot ask us to leave, ma'am. You work for us. Actually, we can ask you to go back to work. Go back to work, ma'am. Thank you for taking your hand off your gun. Yeah, go, go back to work. Go back to work now. Walk of shame. The patients in the waiting room are very much aware of five guys with cameras shouting and arguing with staff. Now, one patient told the auditor previously to stop filming him. These auditors have no idea of the exact problems facing these patients. For example, I know many Vietnam vets with PTSD who are triggered by aggressive behavior. And the auditors finally do trigger someone. And it's really a, a sad sight. You work for us. Actually, we can ask you to go back to work. Go back to work, ma'am. Thank you for taking your hand off your gun. Yeah, go back to work. Go back to work now. Walk of shame. Please help me now! Please help me now! Please! Well, the patient had enough, and I certainly had enough. And the patient screamed, leave. Please help me now. Please help me now. Please. Let me in. So the BS line that all auditors use. Yeah, we're not in here to create uh, havoc. Please help me now. Please help me now. Please. You know, some human beings may have some empathy at this point. And, but not this little snot nose. And, and that's what we call amoral weasels. He's a snot nose. He becomes emboldened by that man's cry of leave. Mr. Matt Boyles, how does it feel to, to know you're a traitor to this country? I don't think it's us that agitated them. I think these people are agitated when they come in here, man. And then the auditor focused in on this warning that this building is a full security facility. This ballsy little punk is about to make a comment about the first security officer calling him a chihuahua. But very soon he'll regret it. Like your, like your dog. He's, he's, he's still here like your, like your pit bull. And then he got ran away like a chihuahua. Huh? We, tu we turned your pit bull into a chihuahua. This little punk is now full of himself. And he's just taking over the place going wherever and whenever he wants. Well, let us get to part two, and we'll see the tide turn. What you're about to witness is the greatest, I think, the greatest interaction between an auditor and an officer ever. The punk scum goes for every thread in the auditor rag sheet. But what's happened here is that the five punks have pissed this officer to the point where he no longer cares. And trust me, that's a dangerous place. Enjoy. <laughs> So you guys are creating a disturbance now, you are. so now you have to leave. You are. Okay? You, uh, we have clients who are very upset to Okay, film don't touch them. me, Rude. Is that really your last name, Rude? Don't Why, you me. have a problem with that? Don't touch me, your breath stinks. Do you have a problem with that? Get the fuck away from me. Why? This is in the public. Get the fuck away from me. This is in the public. Get the fuck away from me. This is in the public. Look at this motherfucker. He's touching me. This is in the public. Get back. Get what? back. Get back. This is in the public. Get back. You're not a police officer. Get back. This is in the public. Get the fuck back. This is in the public. Get away from me. You get away from me. Look at it. Don't hit me, ma'am. No, no, no. You just hit me. You're I'm in the public. I'm in the public. Yeah, but it doesn't care. give you the right you know to hit people me. lost their job because of me. I'm Good. sure I've got witnesses and I've got film that I haven't hit anybody. Yeah, you did. You bumped right into me. Have I hit anybody? Me. Have I you bumped into me. Stupid. You hit me. Oh, okay. I've got my witnesses. You're a damn fool. Okay.
If you go around bullying people like that around here, why do you think we're here? Because of you. No, because of you. I'm not bullying you. Get back away from me. This you're is violating my personal space. I think you're the one that needs you help. You have none. You're the one that needs mental help. You have no personal space. You're the space. one that needs mental help. You're sir. in public. You need mental help. You're about to lose your job. I'm sure you've already lost it. And I'm asking you to leave. I'm saying no. I'm denying your request. Respectfully, okay. you can go call the police if you like. Okay. But get the fuck away from me. This is public. Get away from me, dude. You're violating my personal space. You have no personal space. I have no You're personal in space. Public. Your fucking bread stinks. You fucking old piece of shit. Get the fuck away from me. Okay. You've already bumped into me with your fucking stomach. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. You're gonna lose your fucking job. Now ask me if I care. I know you don't care. Look at you. You're on the working person, please. You didn't go around treating the public like that? I'm here on official business. I have it in my fucking pocket. It holds up in court, believe me. I've done this many times. I'm the biggest fucking channel in California that does this. You're a fucking idiot. Get the fuck away from me. You're the one that's going to be leaving here in fucking handcuffs if you don't leave me the fuck alone. I promise you this. I'll take it all the way. We have attorneys. Stay off the drugs, man. Quit drinking. I'm asking you nicely again to step away from my personal space. This door behind me doesn't fucking open. I have nowhere to fucking go. Get the fuck away from me. I have nowhere to go. The door behind me doesn't fucking move. You're standing in front of me. Get away from me. Now you're holding me here hostage. Get away. Get away. Can you, get the, can you get your fucking employee away from me, ma'am? Can you get your fucking dog off me? Get back, doggy. Look at this guy. Get back, doggy. There's no personal space in public, he says. What a dumbass. What's your fucking badge number? 596. Rude. The white shirt. You're gonna get me a fucking million views. You like to go around bullying people like that? That come in here? You have a touch fucking me, weapon? You just touch me. Please do not touch me. Please move your arm away from me. You walked into me. You Please fucking people are psychotic in here. Not the people that come in here. You guys are. Touched. Her do and you. Me. Yeah, you walked into me. Do you you walked into me. You, you walked into me. me. Do not touch me. Just be quiet. Do not assault me. Just be do quiet. Not Get back away from me, dude. Do not assault me. Yeah, you just do walked into me. Nice try, idiot. Do not assault me. Nice try. Do not assault me. You're do impeding not me. Assault me. Do not You're assault me. me. You're impeding me. You're watching too much reality TV. This is the third time I've asked you nice. Move back away from me. You came out here to tell me just for now that you're everybody else in here. Why do you think I'm in here? Because of you. And the Fourth Amendment violations that are going on in here. Everything's on film, sir. Thank you. I have nowhere to go. You're standing right in front of me. I wish to leave now. I wish to leave now. Step away from me. I wish to leave. Step away from me. There's a door. You're in front of me. I cannot move. 
I'm step seeing, away from me. I'm There's seeing door. plenty of Step away I'm from me. Plenty of space for step away to, from me. There is a door. There's step the door. away from me. I'm seeing plenty of space yeah. for him to move freely. He can move freely towards the door. No problem. Step away from me. He can move towards the door yeah. without any problem. Okay. I see right. that there's Thank plenty you. of room for him to uh, move towards the door without any problem. Get her name. Get her name. What's your name, ma'am? You're fucking laughing, it suits you well. She won't identify in this hiding. We'll get her name. We've got her photo. Look her up on Transparent California. Look at how close she is, guys. Look at it. You won't even let me leave. You won't even let me leave. Look at This guy won't let me leave. I don't know about you, but that was uh, the best five or eight minutes I've ever seen. It didn't have uh, aggressiveness or it didn't have violence. But what it had is an auditor meltdown when he realized the guard wasn't going to move. And when he realized that security officer had nothing more to lose. The little punk voice cracked. He started to be afraid. He started to repeat stuff. He used every, every threat he could. You're going to lose your job. You're going to lose your job. But to me, this was a great, great few final minutes, and I hope you enjoyed it. My take on it is what uh, I guess we all agree, or most of us agree. This guy didn't, this security officer didn't engage verbally. He repeated, I'm in the public. This is how all officers, security officers, and, and city officials should handle auditors. Just stand in their face and say, it's public. That's my take. What's yours? The John Legato Show is being brought to you from just outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. If you like the show, please subscribe and like and pass the word. Semper Fidelis.